Aloha! This is the Green Lightning Mr. T, last episode. Um, we finished up Targazan's temple thing and unlocked a bunch of worlds and just went around collecting stuff. Now we shall be starting the next world, and this shall be my last episode I record for the day. Ah, oh, it'll be so nice to have some time to myself. So we got a new thing to learn how to use. And then those shoes. And that was a horrible jump. Come on, bigger jump. There we go. I think you're supposed to get this with the spring shoes, but why bother when you can just fly to it? Now we can head to see Cheeto at some point. Which I will do when... I have enough stuff to make it worth my while. After the third world, I think. So I guess my main goal for now will be to get most of the warp points, since... Um... I'm going to be... Yeah, doing stuff and get the move, I guess. So, basically, the best way to navigate this area is to follow the tracks. There, there's two things to follow in this area. The tracks, and then there's the water. You can use the water to figure out which um, way you're going, and then use the tracks to just get around, I guess, to all the areas, since the river doesn't quite follow everywhere. So, either use the tracks or use the, the water to navigate. Okay, yes. Also, there is a warp pad in Wumbo's house, or hut rather. Something to note. Okay, so you do want to make a stop here. This move that we're about to learn very shortly, once I'm happy about the notes I'm collecting. Here we are. Also, yeah, we'll worry about that later. Okay. So this is the build drill. Now this was one of the stopping points I was talking about, where I would just get stuck because this move is used so much that it really hindered my my progress through the game. Arr. But I just could not locate it for the longest time. I just kept walking right by this area. The thing is, I would only follow the tracks, and if you follow the tr only follow the tracks, you kind of skip this area right here, and you just come out the other end. And that's why I would keep missing it. So it's important to follow both the tracks and the water. Also, I should have gone back and hit that, dealt with that rock. I'll go back in a sec. I think it's yeah, it's important to go through that one at some point. Okay, so I'm gonna go back and deal with that rock. I probably didn't fall off that. I thought that was like too slopey in order to run up. There were, there are other ways. There is another way to destroy most of these these rocks that I'm destroying. But the thing is, this isn't the only world that has these rocks. So it did, you know, considerably stop me before anyhow. Oh, okay. This is a good time. 
That's what I was talking about earlier. There, I didn't get to show off. Now, the only thing to note is that it get, the further you get in the game, the faster that will be. I think it's based on what world you're in. How fast they go. That's a problem about this enemy. You can't attack it fast enough. Make it worth your while to attack. I mostly just ignore them. Okay, so here's the end of the water. Here's the end of the tracks. You use the water. Whoops. You use the water to figure out which side of the tracks you're on, and then you just follow the tracks. That's my way of figuring out how to navigate this area. It's still a little bit of a learning process, but it helps a lot using the tracks in combination with the water. Because you think of the crushing shed um, as being at um, where the water water comes from, and then you think of the train station, which is actually where I'm at, as where the water goes. And then you have everything in between. Now there's still the little mine caverns which you have which you can only like they're they're numbered, but <laughs> honestly at if you have to really remember what what is what. You have to have played this game for a long time to remember which one of those um mines is the correct mine. There's no other way around that. So, I might be able to do everything I need to with the transformation of this world. I'll have to see. Also, it's good to come up here because there's a Jinjo! Okay, so last place is Wombas. That is not water. And that was a long way around as well. Oh well. I guess I'll see if I can... Um, get through all this. A lot of people don't like this transformation. I never had a problem with it. You just have to be careful with it. Yeah, that self-destruct attack hurts you as well. So, either you have to avoid enemies or make sure when you actually use it, you're killing an enemy. That's the only concern. Like, that was not a good example. I completely failed it. But, basically there's a couple areas around here where you're gonna have this blockage that you can only get rid of with the detonator. So I'm gonna head in this area, because I might as well. Because what we need to do in here in such a heart bad thing. Okay. Canary Mary. And more death and stuff. Once again, when I was playing this game, I had no concept of what death was at that point. Okay, so... By the way, if you die as a transformation, you just go straight back to Wombas. Nothing too trivial. As I guess that's one of the reasons why I didn't have any trouble with this thing, because there's a warp pad right in Wumba's. I guess that's out partly why they put one there. Okay. 
I don't think there's nothing. In, that's probably just eggs. Since the other one was feathers, that's probably eggs. I don't know. I don't really need to open up the other one. The crate, that is. Okay. I'm in health anyways. Alright, I can get enough for now. So, I need to head this way. Also, you can do this crazy thing where you hop when you move and then you do an, get an extra jump in. Crazy wicked. Okay. So, in here's another place. As I said, yeah, they gotta make it count or you gotta avoid them. That. I'm usually just avoid them, but I'm apparently driven to get them. I'm not doing a very good job. You can make. If, if I can find a. Um, a honeycomb thing, I'll, I can use that to get my health back up, but otherwise I should just avoid them from now on. And I fail. Whatever, I'll just follow the river. Although I need, I need to, I actually needed to follow the tracks. See, you gotta follow both, that's the number one thing about all this. Okay. Good. So I'm just going to clear this just for the heck of it. By the way, you can't take fall damage as a, um... Transformation. Oh, and those are insta-kill, I think. I think I remember if you try and blow up next to them, you'll just die instantly. I'm not too sure whether or not the TNT throws at you is instant death, though. Okay, so that's all I need to do for now, but this is for a later level. And one of the nice things about this game is that all the worlds are interconnected. Kind of like in Sunshine, how you can see all the areas, all the other areas from any area you're in. Which really helps make... It, it's cool. Okay, so I believe there's one more thing to blow up, and then there's one more rock, which I could also blow up as well. By the way, we will have something to do with Canary Mary la later on. Okay, so I believe it's by Mumbo's. I'll just walk. Or hop, rather. Also, he's a little bit hard to control with all the hopping around. The stuff like getting into that pit is a little bit troublesome. Alright, so... Let me just grab the Jinjo now. If I can squeeze under this door. Like, that's another thing he has trouble with. Uh, get away from me! Okay. Apparently that was an unnecessary explosion, but I got health enough for one more. That's good. Cause I wanna... 
You can you can drill that rock from the other side of the door, but it's much easier just to blow it up since you have to come here anyways. Alright. So that takes care of everything. I'm down to a sliver of health. But that's my own fault. You know, I've never tried to see Mumba while you're already transformed. I wonder what happens. I'm kind of worried I'm going to end up blowing myself trying to talk to him, though. <laughs> it kind of is sucky that I only have the one health. Alright, what happens? <laughs> Just no. Doesn't even acknowledge you. Alright. By the way, Mumbo and M Mumbo don't like each other. An important fact if you want to get on their good side. <laughs> so that was a little rough. But we're fine. I suppose I could try and finish up by doing all of Mumbo's stuff. He only has two things to do, right? You know, I know what I want to do. I'm gonna go see Canary Mary and get her out of the way. Oh, and that did give all my health back. That's how nice of them. So this is not what I was talking about. I was able to do this as a kid. The thing is, there's more than just this. But, ah, uh, this is, I haven't done something like this in ages. Oh wow, I, apparently I'm stiff too at this. Wow. I need to practice for later on. Oh my gosh, I need to practice. Where is the Mario Party for? I need to start, I need to pull out Mario Party and practice on this. The problem about this is, this is only something you get good at over time, since practicing it only tends to wipe you out. Oh wow, I am so stiff. I need to practice. Ah! Oh. Okay, so that was... That may have looked easy, but it actually is easy, and that's the problem. It is easy! <laughs> it gets much harder. And I, and I only just won that. <sighs> also, slow down. This game has, does have a bit of issue with slowdown, but that's because they're pushing the game to its limit. And that's a good thing in the end. This is sped up, by the way, so... <laughs> Alright, so... I say, well, I'll just end it, do it now. And then we can end off things. Okay. There we go. Much better. Okay. Ah. Ah. I 
am so stiff. I'm a little bit better, but gosh, dang it. This is not good for bode well for later. Like, she's right there. Okay, I'm in trouble. Ah, <sighs> I'm in serious trouble right now. <laughs> if that's the best I can do, oh wow! I need, to, I just need to practice a bit because I, wow, why am I so stiff? Perhaps we'll see each other again. Ah! Fact of the matter is, we will see each other again. Also, the co cart broke down as soon as we were done with it. What a terrible cart. What? Ah, I'm going to need to practice for that. Really badly. Really badly. Okay. Also, I guess different about this game is you only can save and quit at the same time. You can't do one or the other. I guess that's a little weird. That, I guess that was the original Legend 2. I don't know. It's only theoretical, the, the connections between DK64. Anyways, this has been the Green Lightning Mr. T. I hope you've enjoyed the episode. And to you I say, Aloha.